Okay, everybody, here is the setup that I am using for the reaction. Um, you can see here I have the ferrous sulfide in the flask here. There is a little bit of water in there just to facilitate the acid mixing. Um, of course, there's a lot of iron in there. I very much so doubt it's going to stir, at least not until a ways into everything. <laughs> Um, but we'll give it our best shot. Um, addition funnel here, where sulfuric acid will be added in. Then the gas will come up here through this adapter, come up through this column, which is not connected to any kind of cooling water because I don't care about cooling the gas down. The reason I am having it go through that condenser is because I am trying to eliminate all traces of elemental sulfur which is usually produced when you produce hydrogen sulfide using ferrous sulfide. Every single time it has been a royal pain in the ass. Um, so I am really, really hoping that any elemental sulfur will be caught on the coil, which I can just wash with hot xylene afterwards to get any elemental sulfur off of it. And um, by the time it gets up here, it's just hydrogen sulfide gas, which will then go through the tube there. We've got a suck back trap there, and also another trap for any tiny amounts of sulfur that may make it through, um, hopefully. And then that will come down here into the gas wash bottle. There is, I'm, I've done the math, and um, I'm really hoping this is right. <laughs> There is one mole, exactly, of sodium hydroxide dissolved in that liquid, which is about, I guess probably about 400-ish mils of solution. Um, I want so the hydrogen sulfide gas to be present in excess so that at the end, the solution has hydrogen sulfide dissolved in, uh, in the solution of sodium sulfide. And that means that, you know, the reaction went to completion and we don't have to worry about any sodium hydroxide being present in our final product. Um, the excess um, hydrogen sulfide gas that's dissolved in the water can just be boiled out as I evaporate the solution down to get the solid sodium sulfide. So, um, here is the sulfuric acid that I'm going to use. It is fairly concentrated. And um, that's basically it. Here goes nothing. Okay, so after having a little bit of gas bubble through the gas wash bottle, I decided that it needed a stir bar. Um, there was also a blockage in some of the holes at the bottom of that column for some reason. Um, cleared that out and um, also got it in some ice since gases are more soluble in cold water than they are in hot water. And we want as much hydrogen sulfide to dissolve as possible so that we can have as much of it react with the sodium hydroxide as possible. So I just need to let this go now until it's done. Okay, so this urine after a night out at the bar looking solution here is what I've got after evaporating down the solution of sodium sulfide. Um, I presume there is some excess sodium hydroxide in it, which has probably done a number on my beaker. We shall see. But the sodium sulfide is just now starting to crystallize out. I've just removed it from the heat, so... I am going to allow this to crystallize, and we will see what we've got. I am very encouraged, though. I, I'm, I very much doubt that this is sodium hydroxide, which I think would still be completely soluble, given the amount I used and this volume. So this is pretty awesome. I was beginning to wonder if this was going to work or not. I suspect the yellow color is either sulfur or polysulfides. More likely, polysulfides. Um... Hopefully, we end up with a nice clear product. We shall see. So, I will come back when there is something else to report.
Hey everybody, I was very dubious that I had gotten much sodium sulfide at all, but look at that. I mean, this thing is almost a solid cake. I've already broken it up once. Look at that shit. That is awesome. Man, I, I really was wondering if I was going to get a whole lot of it, 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 it at all. I'm so happy that it actually fucking worked. Um... And it looks like, once we get all that liquid out of it, that it might actually be clearish. Although, if it's slightly off color, I don't really care that much. Um, honestly, I'm just so pleased that it worked. And there you have it, everybody. The synthesis of sodium sulfide nonahydrate. That worked out really, really well. I mean, this product looks beautiful, man. I'll take this. It's slightly off-white, but that's fine. I mean, hey, this first time ever doing it. Um, oh, get the fuck out of there, you little bit of black tree jizz. Fuck off. God, I hate these fucking trees sometimes. <laughs> anyway, um, look at that. That is fucking awesome. That is so great, man. And it made a lot of it, too. That is freaking great. Well, if you liked that video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, give it a thumbs down. Subscribe, comment, share the video. And until the next one, y'all, I'll see you later. That is so fucking cool, man. I cannot believe that worked out so well.